Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here on a new adventure. First time this year uh, going to the state park, hopefully not getting lost. So I'm here with Josh and that's a guy that I've mentioned every once in a while. I sold all my like A7 III gear and a bunch of lenses and all that shit. So we decided to come here this morning and walk around and see what we can get. First problem, as we drove all the way to the other side, because that's the side that's closer to where there's ospreys more, more often than not. And we get there and it's closed. You can't get in that side. So we had to drive all the way back here to the main entrance side. And then we drove all the way in so that we could be further into the park and we get there and there's no parking. So we had to come all the way back. So in other words, we've just pissed away like 45 minutes just trying to get in here and get going. So now we're going. And we're just gonna walk around and see what we find today. And we're bringing you along. So we spotted some nests in a tree over yonder. And between my binoculars and then his, he's got 200, 600 on his R4. And he can definitely see that what's up there. There's something up there that's like totally chilling in one of the three nests. And then we can hear shit all around us, but it's really hard to see them. There's a lot of tree cover as here, I'll just sort of do a spin around. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. And I, that sound is the sound of an osprey, I believe. but I'm gonna pull the binoculars out again. Okay, so that was, so far we're, we're doing really well. We've already gotten two Ospreys. One of them we just got pretty good shots of because it was sitting there in a fairly open spot, not backlit by the sun, at least not as much as the other one was. So here's where we are now. And we are gonna make our way along here and hopefully see a lot more birds. I mean, there were some spots where we saw um, a big heron that was at the top of a tree above a nest and it took off, but there were just too many trees overhead for us to actually get a good shot. But it gave us hope that there are birds out here. There's a duck. This is really pretty out here and it's a wonderful day. It's nice and not scalding hot yet. So it's a little windy, but it's a perfect day for this. I love these mossy trees. I think they're pretty cool. We've opened back up a little bit back in by the water again. This is a path that I haven't taken in a long time. And it's turned out to be pretty fruitful because there are a lot of nests. So we've seen several osprey and a, and a bunch of other birds, but still looking for that elusive eagle. And I think we might be, as we walk another mile or two down here, we might actually run into where they could be. So we'll have to see. But, isn't this awesome? There he is again. We keep hearing this trilling sound, but we don't see it. It should be right up there. Yeah, he's back there where we were. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's pretty cool.
pretty much for everything that we see, there's probably like 10 times the amount that we're not seeing. That's the bummer part of this. Oh. I've been recording it. I've been sitting in my pocket recording the whole time. That's cool. Be an interesting point of view when you go back to edit. Dumb monkey walking point of view, right? I think the birding is done for the day. Listen to this. And we're just slightly ahead of them, so we're going to hear this for the remainder of our time walking around. And that's okay. I'm pretty whooped anyways. There's a lot of people here, so there really isn't going to be any birds anyways. We did get a bunch of bangers, though, all along the first half of our, of our little trek here, so that's good. But for now, I'm not going to sing along, but I'm going to hear it probably in my head for the next five days. Okay, kids. That was a lot of fun, but that kicked my ass. So you know how dumb the monkey is. I went from zero to 60 way the hell too fast. So I haven't walked that much in a long time. So we did about six and a half miles as we walked through the entire state park. The first half, well, the first three quarters, we'll say, was, was great. And we got some real banger pictures. We saw a couple of woodpeckers, a bunch of osprey, you know, the occasional heron. You know, it was just great. And we also saw, you know, a bunch of little birds here and there and some lizards. So it was a lot of fun. When we came back and we finally got on, I think it was part of the Cape Henry Trail, uh, as you saw, we got ahead of some, I think they were Cub Scouts, singing. They got through all the bottles of beer that were on the wall, and then they went into Deo, fan favorite, and they were just in, generally pretty loud and obnoxious the entire way. And we basically followed them back once we hit that trail when, and came across them all the way until we got back to the car. <laughs> so... Uh, we went from peaceful, naturey, birdlicious to screaming children, and yeah, not so great. But all in all, it was a great time, and we got some banger pictures. Now, I took the A7R3 with the 70 to 200 version 2, but I also put on the 2 times extender. So basically, I was walking around with what? A, a, a 140 to 200, or 140 to 400. And definitely, definitely did not. I could feel the fact that I did not have the reach of the 600, but that's okay. I haven't looked at a single picture yet. When I got home, I had to sit there for a while and, and relax. And then, of course, I had to eat. So I made myself a gigantic salad and snarfed that down and drank a bunch of water. My headache has just gotten worse. And I realized that when I got up this morning, I ate an egg and a cucumber and I had some water. I forgot to have coffee. So I haven't had any caffeine. And that's I was like, this headache doesn't feel that much like a... It's a caffeine headache. Those of you that know, know. So I'm now on my way to three ships to get bean for me and my wife. This time I probably won't get a matcha. I'll probably actually get a latte because I need the caffeine. Great day. Glad Josh was able to make it out and hope he had a good time. But other than that, that's all I've got for you. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.